I want to cover the use of the uh, safety lines, which are very important when you're doing any kind of dynamic uh, balance activities or you're concerned about the patient's risk of falling. So these are simply hooked onto the unit. There's a number of different locations depending on how close or far away from the unit the patient is. You just want those to be um, straight in line with their shoulders. And um, so what it consists of here is two carabiners. Um, the first carabiner here that goes to the top, there's a swage here. You're gonna clip that in. And then hanging from the rope here is what's called a ropeman. It's an ascending device. And if you want to move it up, you just simply slide it up. If you want to adjust it down, you pull out on the orange tab here and the cam cleat opens up and you can slide it down um, or you can just use your thumb on that and just pull the rope through whatever uh, mechanism works best for you. So um, we're going to place a patient in this device using the balance harness here. Um, so one of the methods that sometimes is easier if your patient can stand reasonably well on their own to start with is to take the harness, hang it from your safety lines ahead of time here. And I like to adjust the height of the harness so I think it's approximately at the patient's shoulder level. Um, so once we've got that in place, go ahead and we'll have our patient come over here. And we're just gonna go ahead and put this harness, oh, step back one moment, I wanna show one thing here. Um, you'll also notice in place here is the um, pelvic strap that's going to go behind the patient's bottom under the gluteal fold. We have that hanging in place already from these two blue loops, uh, these two uh, blue webbing loops that are hanging from the bottom of the harness. So it's already hanging in place and it's centered. So go ahead and step in, hand through there, hand through there. I'm going to lower this down just a little bit to get that right on your shoulders. So just opening that up. Get those on the shoulders. And now we're going to go ahead and tighten the belt. It's got two seat belt buckles. So this is the top one I'm tightening. Doesn't really matter which one you tighten first. And then I'm gonna tighten the bottom one. Connect it. And we're gonna go ahead and snug those firmly. I wanna make sure that the harness here is just over kind of the top of the iliac crest here and under the angle of the rib so we get a good anchor point. And so I'm gonna really pull that over tight as the patient is comfortable with. And if you feed a little bit of webbing into the buckles, that helps too. Now we're gonna take our gluteal fold strap here, our pelvic strap, and we're just gonna make sure it's centered by making sure these two silver rings are in the same spot on each side. And once we have those in center, we're gonna take one of these, go ahead and turn this way for me a little bit, and we're gonna go ahead and crisscross it across all the way and connect to the side buckle here, just back behind center line or behind midline, and just do it, snug it up just a little bit. Now we're gonna take this other one, do the same thing, and snug it. And now we're really gonna take up some slack. So the way, the easiest way to do that is, is hold on to the webbing and feed it in as you take up the slack. And then do the same thing on here. Feed it in as you take up the slack. Good. And we'll just make sure that's good and underneath your bottom. And if we need to take up a little bit of room here on the shoulder straps, we can slide those down to make those a little bit tighter so the shoulder straps don't fall off. And then just ensure we've taken up all the slack in our unit here. And now we are ready to do balance activities.